Hey, Patrick of KY Gun Co. Micro compact high capacity pistols have pretty much been all the rage for the past several years, and most notably in the 9mm cartridge. But that is about to change. This is the brand new Ruger LCP Max 380. Let me show you some of the features. Okay, the most notable feature of the new LCP Max is just that the word Max. This gun comes with a 10 round magazine, so for 10 plus 1 capacity, that is a double stack 380 mag. And we'll do a size comparison here in, the, in a moment, but you'll notice that when I do the LCP2 comparison, there's not much difference in width. We'll show you that here in a second, though. Ruger is also making a 12 round mag that you could buy after the purchase. Slide is double serrations, front and rear serrations. Another real notable upgrade feature is the tritium front night sight. It's a real visible night sight, white outline, green dot in the middle, U-notch rear sight, serrated on the back, blade style safety trigger, and it is an improved trigger pull over the current LCP2 or LCP, which you guys are familiar with. But there's the blade style safety, pulling it back, there's kind of a stop there. Real short little trigger pull, pretty smooth. That's you know it's not the uh, it's not a competition style trigger. Reset, fire again. You also notice when I pull the slide back that does have the hold open feature. A lot of your smaller compact or micro compact 380 pocket pistols do not have that. The other thing that Ruger has upgraded this is a reversible mag release. So for your lefties, you do have the option to switch that over. Nicely textured front finish or grip finish. Front strap, rear strap, and of course, left and right side. 2.8 inch barrel, and if I flip it around, a little bitty chamber, uh, it's a loaded chamber window, I guess you could say right there. We'll show you that in the range once, once we have an actual shell on the gun, but you'll see the little piece of brass in there. Okay, size comparison. Ruger LCP2, which you guys are familiar with, single stack, six plus one capacity. Been out for a couple years now. That's in my right hand, which is also on your left, left side of the screen. This is the LCP Max in my left hand. You're all's right side of the screen. As you can tell, not much difference. Same, same slide, same barrel on both pistols, if I can hold them correctly. So the slide and barrel are the same. They're primarily just looking at a slightly wider gun. But again, if you put Ruger's 12 round magazine in here, you're getting double the capacity. Side by side, pretty much mirror image. Ruger says that the LCP Max will fit in most LCP2 style holsters. Let's show you another comparison. Like I said, nine millimeter has been the point of emphasis. It's kind of been where all the, or all the emphasis has been for a lot of the manufacturers for the past several years. So this is the new Ruger Max 9. Very comparable in size to the uh, Hellcat, the 365. Uh, some of the other smaller nines out there. The uh, uh, Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. So, but we're gonna use Ruger's Max 9. For comparison, this is the LCP2, or I'm sorry, LCP Max over top of it. See quite a bit bigger gun there. Obviously a little bit more narrow. Just a little shorter all around. You know, you might be asking yourself, why is Ruger, if the emphasis is on the LCP, or if the, all the emphasis as far as manufacturing is in the nine millimeter segment right now, why well, bring out a Ruger max you know high capacity 380 there's a lot of people that who want a little bit more deeper concealed carry you know a pocket carry gun uh, sometimes pocket carries a little bit more uh, comfortable to carry than say an inside the waistband style holster and there are some people out there that can't just you know just can't handle the recoil of a micro compact nine millimeter those have a tendency to be just a little bit more snappy i don't think this is going to be the case in the small 380 we already know what a 380 in a pocket gun feels like uh, so we're going to take it to the range we're going to try it out you guys get to see it let's go to the range 380 Blazer Brass is what we're using today. That's a 95 grain full metal jacket. Federal does sponsor our range here at KY Gun Co. and kind of sponsors our videos too. They provide us the ammo, so we do appreciate that. Something I failed to mention out in the, uh, when we was telling you about the pistol, the pistol does come with two different floor plates on the, when you buy the gun, the 10 round magazine, the 10 round capacity magazine is gonna have the flush fit floor plate. It does come with an extended model, extended floor plate that allows you to get your pinky on the grip on the, when, you know, once you insert the magazine up into the grip, it gives you almost a full grip where you get your entire hand on there. It does not add capacity, but it does add grip. It does add a little bit of controllability. And keep in mind, this is a 10 round mag. Ruger's also making the 12 round mag that you can also purchase. All right, this is the first 10 rounds out of the gun. We have 10 rounds in the mag. This is a new gun. It's a production gun. It's not a salesman sample. Uh, nothing along that line. So you're going to see exactly what we're going to see for the first 10 rounds out of the brand new Ruger.
10 rounds, last hold open. Decent little group for rapid fire. We'll set it back out there. Ruger's kind of stepped up their game. They're giving a little bit more value to their packages, uh, especially in pistols that are normally, you know, usually in a price point that don't come with these features. Most of your pocket pistols do not come with a front night sight. That's, a, that's usually a $50 to $80 upgrade night sight standard on the new LCP Max. Most guns usually don't come with two floor plates. Both floor plates are included. Most guns, most guns do not come with a pocket pistol or the, the pocket holster. Again, this is the same holster that fits the LCP2. So if you're upgrading from the LCP2, you don't have to upgrade your holsters. But if you're buying a, uh, this is your first time you're buying a 380 pocket pistol. It's kind of cool to know that the, the holster actually comes with it, and it also comes with the mag loader. Just a little single uh, single plastic mag loader, but makes it handy when you're loading these little stiff round, these little stiff mags. Let me show you how this works. Slide the magazine loader over top the mag, push down on it, take your bullet, push that in, and you can keep on loading a lot easier than just using your thumbs. If you ever want to upgrade one of these mag loaders, highly suggest you look at these mag lulas. These things are by far one of the handiest loaders out there. All right, 10 more rounds. Let's do it again. Again, we're, our videos are pretty short and sweet, which is kind of give you the first 50. Kind of, the, again, the meat and the potatoes. We've talked about this in previous uh, videos. There are many excellent video reviewers out there that do the the long extended videos. These are not meant to be in-depth reviews, not meant to be in-depth reliability tests. Just kind of show you what you need to know so you can get educated if you decide you want to purchase one of these pistols. I'm going to keep this pointed down range, but I did tell you I wanted to show you the, the loading chamber window. If you have a shell in the chamber, you can see your little piece of brass or nickel, depending on what style of casing you have. Again, it's not on top, it's kind of on the side. But again, another value proposition, another, another piece that that Ruger has added to their pistol. That is a handy little feature. We talked about it out there just a little bit as far as why Ruger would want to bring out a, you no, know, why are you trying to revive the 380? Uh, not that the 380 is actually deceased or went away of the dinosaurs, but not, again, the focus has been on nine millimeter for most of the manufacturers for the past several years. That's just where the demand has been. And obviously if that's where the demand has been, that's where they, they're gonna focus their attention. But the LCP and this size, you know, this gun can fit in the just about any pocket you have, it's just a lot easier to conceal. It's a lot smaller package. Uh, now with a higher capacity, this makes just a much more effective package. You know, there's some, sometimes you just, there's, you just don't have the proper clothing or the proper uh, ways to hide a nine millimeter, even in the micro compacts. Yes, they're small, but this thing is smaller. Uh, it's easier to handle than a lot of the micro nines. The recoil is not bad as you guys can tell by looking at the video. I'll shoot this one in slow motion. I'll, I'll have Chris just kind of focus in on the hand and you can see the, the recoil on it. Took my time a little bit more on that one. And before we shoot the last 10, we'll show you that last group. It's a decent little pocket pistol group. That's not bad at all. All right, this is the last 10 of the first 50. First 50 rounds through this pistol.
50 rounds, no problem. If you're thinking about upgrading your LCP, maybe your Bodyguard 380, any of the single stack 380s that you have in your arsenal right now, and or if you're buying your very first pocket pistol, the Ruger LCP Max is going to be the industry leader. The industry leader simply being it has the features, it has the capacity, it has the reliability that Ruger is known for. As always, you can find this Ruger product and more on our website at kygunco.com. You can also stop in our range and try this. This gun will be in our range rental fleet. And you can also stop in our retail stores and get your hands on it. As always, we appreciate you guys watching, appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for watching.